Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the ice maker thermostat on your refrigerator. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of Nina Lowe's pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So simply pull it far enough forward so that we can unplug it. Now next we'll open up the freezer door and we're going to remove the ice bin. So just lift up on the front of it, pull it forward, remove it from the freezer and set it aside. Next, we'll reach in and we'll lift up on the shutoff lever for the ice maker to turn it off. And then using our quarter inch nut driver, we'll locate the two mounting screws that are located on the side wall. We don't need to remove these two screws, we just need to loosen them several turns because it is a keyhole type slot that is on the side of that ice maker. So we just need to be able to lift it up off of those screws. Now once we've loosened the two top screws, your model may also have a mounting screw on the bottom with a bracket attached to it. So determine that first, and if it does have that bracket, you'll need to completely remove that screw. Then we can lift the ice maker off of those two top mounting screws and tilt it down. Now with the ice maker pulled away from the mounting screws on the side. We'll next need to disconnect the wire harness to it. Now if your model has an inline wire harness, we simply need to depress the locking tab on the connector and separate them. Or if it is like this dial, it connects directly into the ice maker head, in which case you'll need a flat blade screwdriver to slide in that little slot. Depress that locking tab and then pull the harness completely out of the ice maker. We can then close our freezer door up and we'll set the ice maker on a suitable work surface where we can change out that thermostat. Now if you didn't have to remove that cover to get the harness off, we'll next need to take it off. So take a flat blade screwdriver and on the bottom of it there'll be a couple little slotted openings to fit a screwdriver in. Then you can pop that cover right off. Now next we'll want to disconnect the bail arm it's easier to remove it from the back of the ice maker head. So put it down into the off position and then carefully pry that out of the little slotted opening. Until it becomes free. And then you can pull it over the back and just set it aside for now. Now next we'll run and remove two Phillips screws that are at the very bottom of that ice maker head and you'll need a narrow shaft Phillips screwdriver to get into that. Just loosen those screws. They may or may not come out of the openings. Now with those screws loosened, you should be able to then just wiggle the front of that ice maker head completely off the ice maker and hold the eject lever in place as you're doing that. And just carefully set the ice maker head aside. We'll then see the thermostat that we're going to replace. So taking a flat blade screwdriver, just try to get in under one edge of it and break it free. So then we can discard the old thermostat. We'll then turn our attention to the ice maker head and we're going to remove the two contact clips that are fastened in there, so with a pair of needle nose pliers, we're just going to pull those straight out. Take note of how they fit in there. And then set them aside. And we'll take the new ones, line those up, and push them firmly into the ice maker head with your pliers.
the outer edge should be flush with the body of that ice maker head if they're properly inserted. We can then take the new thermostat and actually mount it right into the ice maker. Line up the two male pins. Press it firmly into place and there should be a little bit of spring action there. And that's what will hold that face of that thermostat against the body of the ice maker. We'll now mount that ice maker head back on the body of the ice maker or the mold. Now if some parts have fallen off of your ice maker while we were working on it, we'll need to make sure that we have those properly reinstalled. Now at the back of this piece there is a little tab that will fit into a slotted opening on the mold. So we'll slide that in first. And at the front there's a little hook that fits into an opening at the top of that mold as well. So make sure that we have that lined up. Now the eject lever has a D shaft on it, so it will rotate completely around. But we'll need to line it up with that hole in the back of the ice maker head. We'll also need to line up the two male pins for the heater as well as this locator pin on the side. So line up all those pins first and insert them as far as they will go and then just rotate that eject lever until it all slides together. We can then tighten the two Phillips screws. Now we'll put the shutoff lever back in place. So we'll start with the forward facing hook at the back, insert that through the opening in the fill cup bracket. Then we're going to let it lay in the off position. That should line up with the slotted opening at the front. Then carefully insert that. And if it's properly inserted, it should stay in the off position as you raise it. Now if you choose, you can put the cover back on, or if your model has the harness that connects directly to the ice maker head itself, you can leave that cover off until the very end, just so that we can make sure that the locking tab engages. We're now ready to put the ice maker back in the refrigerator. Now when reinstalling the ice maker, we'll need to First of all, connect that harness, and we want to keep the little locking tab pointed towards the outside edge of the ice maker. So we'll start by inserting that. Make sure it's pushed fully into the ice maker so it makes good contact. You'll hear it lock into place. Then we'll also need to hook the back part of that harness onto the side of the ice maker. There's a little clip there that will fasten over a hardened plastic piece that is in line on one of the harnesses. Now with that done, we'll next tilt it so that we can line up the fill tube into the fill cup at the back, and then raise it up and set it over the two mounting screws. We'll tighten those up first, and then we'll install the single screw on the bracket on the bottom. We'll leave the ice maker in the off position until we have the ice pin remounted. So we're simply going to set that on that track, slide it all the way in, just lift up in the front of it at the very end and then make sure it's properly engaged. You can then reach in and lower the shutoff arm. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.